Okay, uh, what we'll do in this lesson is I'll show you how to form an equation from a log graph. Um, so here's the first example of what we're doing. Uh, we'll be given a logarithmic curve with a couple of points on them. And just to get started, all of the curves that we're working with today, I'll give you the x-intercept and some other point on that curve. Um, so let's start here. And the, the, the basic form for a log equation, uh, if there's no horizontal shifts going on, is just uh, y equals log with base b of x. Okay? And um, just to understand what log equations are, uh, we can we can rewrite them in exponent form, and how we do that is uh, power form, exponential form. Um, it means uh, this is the base of the power, b. This is the exponent to the power of y, and x is what it gives us. Okay, so that's nice. And what we can do to figure out the base number is substitute uh, one of these points in for x and y to find the base. Um, let's look at this one. This is the x-intercept. And this is 1, 0. And if I put that in, it doesn't tell me what my base number is because, uh, well, I'll show you. We y is 0, and x will be 1. Okay. Well, anything to the 0 power is 1. So that doesn't tell me anything just yet. So what I need to do is uh, put some other point in there to solve for b. And I'll, I'll put this one in here, uh, changing. Remember, this is x. And that's y, just like that's x and y2. That's the x-intercept of 1. And um, I substitute those in there, uh, these guys in there, and solve for b. So I'd get uh, b squared equals um, uh, 25. Okay? And fair enough, easy to solve. The opposite of squaring is square root of 25. And I'm not going to plus or minus that because b is positive if the log curve is shaped this way, if it is increasing. Um, if it is increasing, uh, the base number is going to be positive, and it's going to be 5. And so what I do is I take that and rewrite it into the equation up here of y equals log base 5 of x. And so since there's no horizontal shift there, the asymptote, asymptote of this graph is just the y-axis. I have these labeled around incorrectly. What am I thinking? This is y, and this is x. Shame on me. Uh, the asymptote is the y-axis, uh, which means this curve gets really close to the y-axis but never touches it. And the equation of that line, kind of strange because it is the y-axis, but the equation is x equals uh, 0, because that's where the along the x-axis where it equals 0. And so we're going to Look at this in my next example as well. Okay. Sorry about the labeling of those wrong. Next example. Let's check it out. Okay, my next example. Um, there's been a horizontal shift because it doesn't go through 1 on the x-axis. It goes through 7. So I, I can tell that it's, it's gone over 6 units. And if this is the case, if there is some shift, then the general form of something that's not going through 1 on the x-axis is um, y equals log with base b and x of x minus a, where uh, where x equals a is the asymptote. Asymptote. Okay. Now this is it's shifted over uh, six units. Remember, because the the general equation goes through one, not zero. So this is shifted over six units. So y equals log b x minus 6. That's as far as that, that's what I know so far. It's been shifted 6 units to the right. Um, next, what I'm going to do is plug some point in there. And this point isn't going to get me anywhere. We found that out from my previous example. Um, so I'll use the other point that's given, which is 19 and 1. And remember, that's x, and that's y. So I'll substitute these values in to solve for the base and then rewrite the equation. 1 equals log b, and x is 19, minus 6. And I get 1 equals log base b. 19 minus 6 is 
13? Yep, 13. Now I'll uh, rewrite this in index form. Uh, b to the power of 1 gives me 13. Well, that's fairly easy to solve. That just means b equals 13. I don't need to do anything there. And I rewrite the equation from right here. So y equals log with a base of 13, and it's been shifted 6 units to the right. And that is my equation for that curve. And while we're at it, uh, the uh, equation of the asymptote line, it's not part of the curve, it's not part of the equation, but kind of good to know, um, is just 6, which means that if I go to, um, let's say that's 6 on the graph, that means my line, not a very straight line, but it doesn't matter, uh, it just means that it'll never, it, it'll never pass through um, x equals 6. It'll stay bigger than it all the time. Okay, let's look at one more example. Okay, uh, in my final example, it's it's shifted to the left because um, remember the general one goes through x equals one, um, so I've got a horizontal shift going on, and so that means my general equation, general form is y equals log with base b x minus a. And I uh, well, don't know what b is yet. Um, now here, I don't... This part's tricky, because I'm not starting from 0. I'm actually starting from 1. And so how many units over is it from 1 to negative uh, 8? It's 9. And it's 9 units to the left. Um, so what I'm really saying is x minus a negative 9, uh, which just gives me x plus 9. So that's the tricky thing, is the basic log equation goes through 1 and not 0. So that's shifting 9 units, not just 8. So I get y equals log base b, x plus 9. And now I'll <coughs> substitute a point in, and I'll use the y-intercept here, which is 0, 2. will stand for x, y to solve for the base. And so I get 2, because that's the y, um, log base b and x is just 0, 0 plus 9. And so I get 2 equals log base b, 9. Write that in index form, which means b squared equals 9. And this is an increasing function, so b is going to be positive. b equals square root, which is the opposite of squared, 9, which gives me 3. Now I rewrite the general equation, which is that guy right there. And my equation is y equals log of base 3 x plus 9. And what's my asymptote here? My asymptote is going to be x equals negative 9. So negative 9 right there. Uh, this won't be uh, greatly drawn, but that's okay. So the equation of the asymptote is x equals negative 9. Asymptote. x equals negative 9. Okay, so there, those are just um, three examples. There's many more, but those are ones that just have horizontal shifts, and I give you the x-intercept. Okay, good luck.